What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mars Man here, and today we're talking about the new Halo Infinite update, including squad battles, which is the essential old BTB back to the fray. And your boy has been excited to finally get this 8v8 game mode back with us again. This has literally just been one of my favorites. Back to the old style of big team battle. Oh my god, it's it's good to have you back, buddy. So in this video, we're gonna dive into the squad battle, go into different maps, talk about what I like, what I dislike about this game mode overall and whether it should stay in the permanent playlists. But if you like these quick news update type of videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. So let's jump right into it. Firstly, this is the official article that was dropped by Halo Waypoint. It was the update for Tuesday. And essentially what we see here is the inclusion of three new maps in the mode squad battle. The maps included are going to be Cushini Bay, which is the remake of Last Resort from Halo 3, Valheim, which is the remake of Valhalla, and Rat's Nest, which is the remake of, um, yeah, Rat's Nest. <laughs> kind of funny to see that they kind of came up with some different names for all of these different maps, even though they're pretty much identical. When I'm looking at each map individually, I feel like the Kushni Bay or the Last Resort remake is fantastic. It actually looks like it's a dev-made map, and you got to give a lot of credit to all of our fortress here. Mr. Quats, he did a fantastic fantastic job with this map i really enjoyed it with me and the crew we were playing it all on the day of release and it's been a blast uh valheim i thought was also very good as well i mean it's identical to the previous the halo 3s you know valhalla i really like the aesthetic i like the weapon placement and it's kind of funny because the way that halo infinite is built where they don't really have the ability to just drop weapons in specific spots so they actually yeah they have to do pod drops for all of the different weapons and i've seen times where people were bugging out thinking that oh my god we're about to get a power weapon and it's just a, it's like a battle rifle and you're like oh okay, okay. and at least the three favorites is gonna be rat's nest i feel like it's a little too condensed i feel like i'd rather just play team slayer king of the hill is pretty fun with it but i feel like having it back to the old style of capture flag i feel like five captures is a little much on rat's nest i feel like just making it three would be better now overall on the playlist i really enjoyed it to the maximum i really feel like it's a good little mix up in the meta and having it just being a 4v4 and a 12v12 having that av8 that middle in between it's nice a nice balance between what massive vehicle combat and sweatiness that we start to see with Kenor condensed matches and I know a lot of people have been mixed between the AR and pistol stars I feel like it's actually a pretty good combination between the two I feel like I'd rather not have the battle rifle in this game mode mainly because of the fact that you can snipe people across the map with it and that and especially with Halo Infinite's battle rifle it's actually better than any battle rifle we've seen to this point maybe Halo 5's was a straight up laser Halo Infinite's is really accurate from long range and I feel like I'd rather not have a shooting gallery in places like Valor and others i'd rather it be more of a close combat scenario so picking up a battle rifle picking up a dmr or a commando or um you know any of any of the other bandit rifle any of these others would make a lot more sense picking up the weapon rather than just having it in your pocket automatically having the pistol there is fine but the ar pistol starts is good for me i it just it would change up too much if you had it way too long range i feel like game modes for this i feel that slayer is the best but one downgrade i think they definitely need to change is slayer needs to be back to 100 kills i feel like 100 is the perfect number for big team battle the the 8v8 the old big team battle because because of the fact that it allows for the game to go a little bit longer and you can get a lot more kills a lot more outrageous plays can happen in a match 75s feels a little quick and i think this is their way of testing the game mode altogether but i feel like 100 is the perfect number i like king of the hill in btb setup catch a flag is catch a flag i think that's cool i do think they should add a little bit more strongholds uh i know that only only Valheim has uh, has uh, total control of strongholds there. I'd rather it be actually included in all of them. I feel like having total control with, you know, Last Resort or Krishni Bay would be fantastic. Um, it would be a really fun game mode. And even Rat's Nest, I feel like that would be pretty cool too. I think that's actually a perfect mode for total control. To be honest, it's very condensed and it's, it's pretty going to be a pretty nice battle between many different groups. It might last forever, but it, it's going to be a good map. And the only other downside is I wish they added more. I really wanted to see more maps, but this is a great shadow. Battle drop by three for three and i really want this to be a permanent playlist it is a fun thing to play i had a blast playing it on the first day i it made me miss 8v8 in a way and having that included now in halo infinite having a 4v4 and 8v8 and a 12v12 would be a fantastic balance to have within the game modes and it wouldn't take away anything from big team battle either i mean like at the end of the day big team battle has a lot of maps at this point it's a way more it, my big priority then if you're gonna add v 8v8 make 12v12 more vehicle combat have it be a bigger 
craziness going on in 12v12 is now you can have a mixture you have 12v12 being that outrageous vehicle combat that happens like heavies ev8s more condensed more kind of strategic and then 4v4 is going to be just arena so i feel like having this would be a fantastic addition please make this a permanent playlist for three and i think i don't think i'm alone here what do you guys think about the squad battle the old btb returning back to the fray do you like this addition do you want it to be permanent let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this type of content make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content this is marsman signing off peace out guys <laughs>